Horses, unlike cats, dogs, or other house pets, are a much bigger responsibility in terms of care, money, and time commitment. Domesticated horses begin training under saddle or in harness at the ages of two and four. We met a resilient 36 year old Timothy Simiu who came to Nairobi from Kitale at the age of only 16 after dropping out of high school. After years of hustle in Nairobi, he got lucky and currently owns Archin Ranch located in Kare. The ranch offers horse riding lessons, picnic and wedding grounds, camel ride, road bike racing as form of entertainment. Kwa majina ni Timothy Simiu. Eh, Timothy Simiu ni metoka kitale miaka 20 mepita. Nilikuja Nairobi mm, miaka 20 me, 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 mepita. Nilikuja kama uh, mtu wakuza maziwa. Wakati likuwa ni mekuja kuza maziwa, nika fanya kazi ya, ya shamba boy, nika fanya kazi ya guard, gardens, nika fanya kazi zote. Na badai ni kuja ni kaputuwa na rafiki yangu, juu nilianzia maisha yangu limuru. Ni kuja ni kuja ni kuja kuza mazua limuru, but vitu wazi kuenda through. Wakati nifika hapo, ule ndugi yangu, vitu wazi kuwa wazi kubaya. Sa nikaenda hapo mina nilelea mtoto kwa nyumba, ni kafanya kazi ya uoyaya. Kula mtoto mdogo wa mwaka moja na mezitano wakati yo. Sasa yeni mtoto mkubwa, hata na memaliza isko. Sa ni kamulea kwa muda wa mwaka moja, e, kama yaya. Juu ndugi yangu wa kuweza kwa afford ku kutuweka sisi na kila kitu sasa ikabidi nimsaidie opate. Timo this started out as a housekeeper to his brother after arriving in Nairobi. Later he became a gardener and graduated to a caretaker to a home next to the Camel Sensations Ranch. He was fascinated by the horses and camels so he made friends with the owner Tony Achesa. So wakati nilifanya hapo hiyo kazi eh, nikapata transfer kutoka kutoka Runda sasa Karen ule mama James Gashui alikuwa na boma yake hapa Karen wakati alikuwa na boma yake kuna mtu alikuwa tena Danish ndani wakati tena alikuwa Danish ndani aliama so wakati aliama hiyo nyumba yake ilikuwa inataka kayateka na mimi tukakuwa na mwezangu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa John hiyo e, wakati tukakuja tukakuwa tuna care hiyo nyumba tukakuwa tukakuwa tu wili so wakati tulikuwa na chungo hiyo nyumba na jirani yetu pale chini alikuwa na farasi mbili na wakati tulikuwa tuko pale Eh, nilitumia ile na ile nafasi kwenda ku, ku, kukuwa na usano mzuri sana wale watu wa farasi tukapendana nao sana na kumbuka ule kijana alikuwa kwa hapo alikuwa anakea ndio alikuwa wanaitwa size ando anakea mambo ya farasi so nikakuwa nikienda hapo kila wakati jumi ile boma mimi nachunga iko na nyasi iko na maji na hii farasi ilikuwa na hizo vitu inahitaji hizo vitu kukula na jumi kwa napenda mimi upenda sana kufanya ku volunteer vitu sasa nikajitolea kwanza ku volunteer wakati nachunga juu time mingi tu ni kuchunga kukaa Sasa nikasema badala tu kuwa na kaa nikaanza kuvolondia kusaidia hizo farasi zikuwa mbi, mbili. Starting out through voluntary services at the Tony's table during his free time he started tagging him along on jobs that he would get where he offered horse and camel riding. The money he made from these gigs was much more than what he made from his full-time job and this became an opportunity that he could not forego. Unajua ukifanya kitu kifana roho moja vitu zinatani ile njia hata kuna tarajia. Sasa nikakuwa kuvolondia kwa hizo farasi. Ule Tony alikuja. Tony ni mtu na muheshimu sana juu alikuwa foundation. Hii foundation si mimi nimejenga. Kuna ule alianzisha sasa mimi nikaiendelesha kutoka hapo. Eh wakati ule na Tony sana. Tony nikaanza kujifunza kazi polepole. Pole. Wakati hiyo Mamba Village inafunguliwa, sasa si ndio tunaanza ku cooperate. Mamba Village kifunguliwa kwa iko mpya. Tukaanza kupeleka kwa kazi polepole pole. tukibeba watoto E, na hizi zingine tumekuwa tukifanya kazi Uru Gardens si ndio tumeanza kazi Uru Gardens nakumbuka wakati wa Jambo Juni hata kuna watoto wa sikuizi watasao wakati Jambo Juni inaanza wakati wa Moi sisi tuko pale si ndio tunaianzisha splash wakati wa kinanjambania sasa ndio kinanyambane comedians sasa tume kutoka hapo tukaanza kukafanya kazi na Carnival tukakuwa na supply ngamia farasi but wakati unafanya bado ile pati ya kuvolunteer unafanya tu kazi una pata na ile mkipata chakula mnashukuru wakati mmekosa chakula bado tu mnashukuru but ile kitu iko hata kama au unakosa kuna kanja takatifu inamaanisha hata kama unakosa usingangane kwenda kuiba usikirie mambo mabaya ndio msuki yako isonge mbele njoo zako uko na njaa leo njai uui njai inaua baada ya siku nyingi hata kama unaona kweli hauna keti 
siku yako itakuja kufika sasa tulivumilia personally nilivumilia vitu nyingi sana jo asiku pekee yangu tulikuwa watu wengi kwa hiyo safari yangu wengi walishindwa but wachache tulifaulu kitu za mkanzi za mkoa watu wengi sana but watu wa kumaliza amutakuwa ile namba so ile kitu iko kwa maisha finishing to kitu ya maana sana when timo the joint tony achezes ranch there were about six other people working there after some time Tony had to leave and left a 20% stake of the ranch to the workers. Conflicts erupted between them and the others had to quit, leading him to be left alone in the ranch. He admits that it was extremely difficult because he had less money to run the ranch. Most of the times he hit low seasons because of the seasonal activities. So akatalenda tukawachwa sisi wote jua kati ndio alikuwa mkubwa wetu ya sasa so, katalitoka aka, alienda akatuacha sisi kwa board tu ikazi tuipeleka mbele na mna gani juu wakati mnafanya biashara ama kitu yote utakuwa na watu wengi but kila mtu anakuwa hapo na nini yake ni yake kuna mtu atakuwa hapo tu ni yake ni pesa kuna mtu mwingine atakuwa hapo ni yake ni kupeleka kitu kwa level nyingine kuna mtu tu atakuwa hapo tu kwa sababu ana mali ya kukua Dunapatanga mtu kwa kazi na kila siku anatafuta kazi. Every challenge he faced turned out to be an opportunity for growth. Therefore, Timothy created one and made a great step by taking up the idea of training people and families who visit the farm for relaxing. Through the training he has been able to make good cash from the training sessions. Ukisikia pesa iko na kuru utaenda. Pesa iko huko utaenda. But since kuna mali za kafiko kasa ah mali nenda huko sini hotel ya. Mali nenda huko sini hotel ya sasa nataka niweke njia watu wakuja hasa hoteli ile mali itakuwa tuko kwa process sasa ndio tukaweka tukakuja na ile nini ya Archis Ranch tukafungua nini yetu hapa sasa mara mingi sisi hatufanyi kazi za mobile wageni wanakuja kwa sisi so hiyo ndio Archis Ranch huko ndani kuna animals kuna kuna zile wanafanya excursion dan, watu wanakuja wakafanya riding kuendesha bicycle na hizo vitu zingine zote tuko kwa kuna zile activity tunafanya hapa watu watakuja kuna field ya kufanya wedding tuko na watu wanakuja birthday parties wana, watu wanakuja picnic na hapo ndani pia tunafanya archery tunafanya paintball sasa so, ukikuja hapo utapata zile hizo ndio activity tunafanya kwa ranch pia tuko na quad biking watu watakuja na pia tuko na camping tuko na camp, campsite watu wanaweza kuja hapo aka Only four horses were left in the ranch, but he has been able to successfully breed them and buy more. Currently, the ranch has a total of 28 horses. Katalenda ni mwacha na farasi, farasi, farasi ine. Sasa farasi ya kata ni mwacha na azo. Juni kwa nimeji funza bitu mingi sana farasi. Nika kwa na njoo kubreed, mingi zilipofa. But kwa process nika kwa pia mi naza, ni maza kununua zingine. So nika kwa ni maza kununua zingine kuna zingine na breed na zaisha na mna hiyo sasa nikaenda nikafika kuna 20 20 28 horses hiyo yote nimekuwa na breed mimi mwenyewe na pia nikinanunua zingine sasa ilienda ikakuwa kuna hata wakati nilikuwa na 40 baada ya kuwa 40 yeah, challenges pia zinakuwa pale but sasa hizi zimekuja 28 but ziko paka na watoto eh, even do vitu zimekuwa Timothy enlightens that horses need good maintenance which include right feet, good grooming and enough space for browsing. Farasi nataka viatu, eh, chakula, hizo vitu zote. Alafu napata Alafu nataka tena mali pakubwa, uwanja mkubwa ili atapata space ya kucheza. Jo farasi hakuna sifasi ya tutende ukamue, utende fanye nini. Hii itakuwa tu ilishe kuwa na mwili mzuri ndio vitu zako za kuji ziweze kumove. Sasa nitaji kuna wakati nahitaji Okay, ita, so sasa nikasema ati nitaji ununue space kubwa. Nitakuwa nikuwa na space ya kuweka stable na pia kuwa na space ya kuitembeza hapo ndani. So hizo ndio vitu sana ninahitaji ya chakula na, ma, na matibabu. Hizo ndio zinakuwa ile pati mzito sana kwa upande wa farasi ku, ku, kuweka. Mm. Mm. sa in in the stable ile ya yeah, archi stable sasa kwa sasa tuko na fast wawili tu wamekuja kula wale fast nyingine wameenda kazi but wakati nyingine tuko na fast wote 
The nutritional needs of horses in different life stages vary tremendously. This makes it difficult to design a one bag fit all. Timothy takes us through his daily routine when it comes to designing an ideal diet for the horses. Bili kwa siku asubuhi na jioni. But wakati kuna kazi unaweza kupatia chakula mara tatu. But ile unampatia tu chakula kidogo light but ile usiku unampatia kama ni kilo mbili. Uh, 2 kg kuna wakati unategemea na pia size yake na kila kitu tukampatia 2 kg tukampatia 4 kg but hiyo ni asubuhi na jioni alafu kuna zile chakula na mix kuna wheat bran kuna oatmeal kuna ile bale crushed bale boiled bale so una na wake hizo zote pamoja na pia kuna ile ndio kufanya ile ndani yake digestion yake kwa mzuri zaidi unaweka salad kuweka salad Having spent most of his life with horses, Timothy tells us that he is able to identify the signs and symptoms of an ailing horse. When a horse has a colic disease, the animal may exhibit the following signs, restlessness and pawing at the ground, sweating and increased breathing rate, irritated kicking to the stomach, stretching as if to urinate, rolling or attempting to roll, elevated pulse rate. The preventive measures apply to the disease's deworming, which ensures the horses are free from worms and that their skin is always in good condition. First, if you have colic, you have symptoms that you have. You have to go to the hospital, go to the hospital, and after that, you have to go to the hospital. You have to go to the hospital. You have to go to the wakati unagundua iko na colic maisha mtalala hiyo siku nzima mtashinda hapo tukishughulikia juu kiachilia kidogo juu wakati na, na roll ile mjua fasi ni kama mtu zile mind sense zake zina zina roll so this roll it a block iki block hizi kienda cho so it wenda cho kwa maisha fasi utaikosa wakati wote so wakati unagundua tu middle iko na ugonjwa wa colic kuna zile tunataka kwani ipatie kuna ile mafuta ya salad hizo ndio fasi ile unataka na uanze kuifanyia middle unaifanyia hiyo na pia una, kuna pombe unaipatia so ukipatia inafungua tumbo yake alafu una make sure hiyo fast silale chini sasa hizo ndo fast nini ya ugonjwa tu linasumbua farasi hizo so, zote nazielewa ile tu kitu siwezi ni maybe kweme vunjika ikivunjika sasa hapo tunataka kukuita daktari kuja angalie kama ataweza kuinini tutaka but mara mingi kivunjike wewe na wao takuje shutiwe juu aina kitungeze kafanya inawa kwa sababu hata ukuitibu uki, ipone wetu ni farasa ni mnyama yetu ni wakutupa teke una imagine mtu akivunjika anza akapona juu hata kila wakati atatembea kijua hii mguu yake imevunjika lakini ufarasa kama amevunjika akikutana watu wengine wakichokozana kidogo atatupia teke same same mguu ile kwa imevunjika imeponeshwa itavunjika tena so itaishinda imevunjika kila siku sasa ndio sababu ya wakati unapata farasa imevunjika mguu aina ni nyingine ni kugongwa kupigwa risasi tu ambayo kinesha namna hiyo sasa kwa pia wanyama pia tu ni kama binadamu kuna zile wanahitaji kufanywa deworming pia na pia wanafanywa vitamin kama sasa leo hii dawa niko nayo hii ni ya kufanywa deworming so tunafanya deworming kila baada ya miezi tatu tuna tuna tunadunga shindana na hiyo deworming yake deworming yake na cover tumbo na pia nje ngozi yake inakuwa mzuri laini hata akivamiwa na kupe hii dawa inafanya na inaziua zote so kwa leo tunaenda kufanya diome kwa hizi farasi zote but vitamin kwa tumefanya wiki mbili zimepita while saddling the horses one needs to be careful as this could lead to back damage timothy ensures that the horses are well saddled to prevent injuring them pia kuna ile shida ya migongo kuna fasi pia uharibika migongo eh maybe umefanya saddling mbaya na eh na imeenda paka imaribu mgongo so karibu mgongo hiyo si mbaya sana uzo kechukua kaweka nyumbani kama pet but mtu asiyeendesha eh hiyo tutamilisha juu ana shida nini yote but ataki ataki kuendeshwa unamweka pale tu kimchuga lakini kama ule amevunjika mguu ana njengeni kuwa watu